a splendid welcome back everybody to this absolutely horrible nightmare flashback vision unconscious trip kind of thingy here in life is strange true colors i hate everything so let's look at everything mom and dad I don't know. had this tv before they had either of us it seems fairly old um oh mom I tried so hard to keep my promise to her. She made you make a horrible promise. You were a child. Fuck mom. I'm sorry, but she she's part of the whole problem here. Telling your 10-year-old daughter to look after their older brother and their dad? No. No. Fuck mom. Gabe had barely used this backpack in weeks. Nobody could get him to go to school. Gabe loved Son of Lead back when it was an indie. It was too gory for me. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be Pattern, Son of Lad. No, it looks like he, like with the style, with the um, black and white, Nora kind of thingy, and the red spots had us uh, some Sin City wipes. I don't know. If it's supposed the to killer be mistress like. tabs in this book weren't even close to right. Junior Hatbangers Guitar Academy Intermediate Level. Pretty sure we have to go to the door. Um, we'll Cleaning Dad's up. ashtray was not my favorite job in the world. Fuck that. Dad's laundry. I always set it here when it was done so he could find it. At least I managed to hold on to you, Shushu. Oh, Shushu. Okay, we got this area. I go to the pumpkin. Okay. Mom's old sewing kit. I don't think I've ever even tasted a butter cookie. It's a classic. <laughs> the cooking tin with the sewing it was stuff. Full of greeting cards. Mom kept every single one we ever got. Thanks for trying, Lucky Cat. <laughs> My job was to sort them in order of how close we were to a collections notice. What do you mean we're your job? You were eleven. I wanted to be a werewolf that Halloween. Couldn't afford the costume. I hate this place. I hate this family. Except for Alex and Gabe. I hate their parents. Hey Gabe. I'm Leslie Halloran. I'm from the Oregon State Child Protective Services. We got a call from someone who said there might have been some kind of fight here last night. Is your dad home? Oh gosh. You know what? We were... Yeah, that was like... Uh rehearsal and I'm in this play at school and my dad like he was um, helping me learn my lines must be some play but if you need anything my number is on there okay almost empty almost always two cups water for one cup rice set timer for 30 minutes do your history homework serve we never really touched these after mom died. She was such a good cook. Clearly your dad touched these a lot. Gabe used to steal dad's beer all the time. Not so much surprising. It was like the one thing they didn't fight about. Wait, what? Why weren't they not fighting Gabe about Gabe used it? to steal dad's beer all the time. It was like the one thing they didn't fight about. Shouldn't he be angry with him even more like stealing his beer? I don't understand, but that was the only thing that we're not fighting about, to be honest. Can I go upstairs? Okay, photograph. I can't believe they were ever this happy. Okay, I can't go upstairs. Um, pretty sure you checked everything here. Okay, what happens if I open the door? Can I even open it? I can't open Gabe it. Gabe and Dad were so loud when they fought. And they were also, like, they're fighting outside. Isn't that stupid? Especially after the child protection already was here. This is making... Where are you worse. going? Are you gonna tell her? Or is that my job? What, Keep please? your voice down. Fine, I'll do it. Alex, Dad lost his job. Again. So we're broke. Again. Don't talk to me that way. Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off. It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um... I don't know, Dad. 
But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat? We can sell some records, or, or what about my guitar? We can sell that? Alex, what is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could see you now. I don't wanna hear about mom. Babe! <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. <laughs> Don't fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad. Oh, <sighs> fucking hell. Damn it, Alex. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Oh, fuck that. I, I, I didn't. Dad. Dad, it's okay. Really, I'm not hurt. <laughs> I can't do this. True. Dad, you suck. Was he just leaving? Oh, Jesus. Someone will come. That woman from CPS. Someone. I was just leaving your children behind. Oh my god, you were really some of the worst parents I've seen in recent video game history. Dad! I'm sorry. No. Uh, no. no. Oh, honey. Dad! Fucking monster. <sighs> and I'm also blaming the mother. Because instead of having to talk with her husband, like, hey, you, you're the grown-up, you have to take care of her children, she told us her 10-year-old daughter. You're both absolutely <sighs> heinous. Yeah, it looks like... Where are we? Okay, if we're never right, I was about to say something, we gotta know where we are. Uh... Oh, wait, we were writing him letters? Um... He never even opened them? Is that what I just saw correctly? Hey, can there? I ask you a question? Uh, I would prefer not to. Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? Kind of thought it'd be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. God, there are so many bats in one room. I hate this. <laughs> you need to. No. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have. And now I'm done. Almost. But not yet. You are 12. I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Orphanages, group homes, must see rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. You have nothing. No one. You are alone. Thanks, bro. I don't want this. Alex. What? <sighs> Play your part. Is this a specific memory? And if so, what, 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 17 he said? <sighs> Play my part. <sighs> can I just door? Can I, can I play we my part? We weren't allowed to bring glass into the dorms. So we had to drink from this thing. Like hamsters in a cage. Except if you give a hamster a glass. They don't toss it at the other hamsters' heads. 
I never had a hamster, I couldn't tell. Pretty sure it's locked. Must be after curfew. We're not going anywhere. God. They put me on so many meds. Oh god, I... <laughs> <laughs> Shall I try? I, I mean, okay, voice actor works just names. Um, other names, I think. Alvarez. Al Alvarez. See? See, I already fucked it up with the first name. Alvarez, Charlie, Ari Pirasol, 10 milligram once a day. Alice Rita, Ar Ari Pirasol. Why do I have. <laughs> okay, this the two of trucks is two names. 10 milligram once a day. Banner Sadie, 6 Los need 320. Is it that important? Where's Alex? Alex, uh, Chan Alex, RP Purcell, 50 milligram once a day. Lithium XR, 900 milligram. It sounds like a lot. Twice a day. Lithium. I really would like to know what they're all supposed to be for. Um, Methylipine day, 400 milligram twice a day. Respirate once a day. And Caitlin. Caitlin has two tracks. All you have as much as we had. What the fuck? Did any of them ever work? <laughs> Some of them helped. A little. None of them fixed me. In their defense, mutant empathy isn't exactly in the DSM. In their defense, psychological problems are usually not only fixed with medication. It can be helpful, especially at the beginning, so you help people to talk about things. But if you don't do any other stuff, except for pumping drugs into people, it's very likely they will not be fixed. So don't like the term fixed. Okay, I'm, I'm um, rambling again. They used to say this place wasn't a prison. <laughs> Maybe then Maybe you Maybe they were trying to keep you safe. <laughs> Guess so. Whatever the reason, the end result was prison bars. <laughs> if you don't want to be anything like a prison, maybe you don't should put prison bars in front of windows. Okay, let's go to the other side. I don't know why. First. Guess I missed a few days. Happiness is a choice you make every day. Yes and 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 no. Oh, shoo shoo. How are you holding up, shoe? <sighs> Can't believe how long you've had that thing. That thing was my only friend after you left. I hope that hurt, brother. I used to write one every day. Stupid. Why? You clearly missed him. And I thought he missed me. <laughs> Hence, stupid. Not stupid. You were a child. Well, there are my strings. Where's my guitar? Oh, anger. I don't understand. Why can't I have my guitar? You could throw it at Hamster. We've been over this, Alex. Your guitar stays in the rec room. You can play it during free time. That's bullshit. I don't need it in the fucking rec room. I need it when I'm stuck in the fucking dorms. Alex, that's enough. Maybe we'll just take away your guitar privileges entirely, if that's what you prefer. You can't fucking do that. You're a fucking asshole! You're a fucking asshole! I hope you got fired. Never fall a job again. Starve to death. You're a fucking asshole. I took a fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. Just cause, fuck you. Dormitory rules. First, residents must adhere to their assigned schedules at all times and are not permitted to loiter. I don't know this word. I'm sorry. To loiter in the dormitory outside of the designed free time. I have an idea what it means. <laughs> it's not, not a new word. I like that. Second, glass and silverware are to remain in the canteen. Do not bring these into the dormitory. Fuck you. Third, non-resident guests are not permitted in a dormitory. Fourth, lights out occurs at 9 p.m. every evening. No music, no TV, no screen time after lights out. Failure to adhere to any of these rules will result in disciplinary action. Fuck you guys. Fuck you. I'm with you, Alex. Okay, I would like to check something, so only these. Okay, we had nothing new here. I was not wondering. Not keeping a journal with 15, that's okay. I'm happy I checked though. Okay, um, basketball? They should have stenciled the same thing on all of us. Do you really feel like you were their property? We didn't belong to anyone else, did we? It must be a horrible... 
Now I'm starting to feel really, really sad for all the children actually, like, in reality, growing up in these surroundings. Ugh, God, we failed as humanity. Who put this here? Sadie, Sally, uh, something with an S. I think it was you were Sadie. Friends at first, right? Way at first. Then I freaked out on her, and she was done with me, just like everyone else. Fancy. Everyone had one good outfit. We wore them to meet the parents. Did it help? Kind of think you already know the answer to that question. <laughs> I mean, apparently, if I got us right, she's been in a few foster homes. Uh, or at least one. Uh, foster families, foster family home. Uh, like, this is a foster home, but foster families. Is this, like, some families, and then they didn't want her anymore, and then she ended back up here, so I guess the trust worked at first. I really don't want to... <laughs> <laughs> Desperately looked like a monkey! Where, where is his next street? Caterpillar? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't want to. Okay. Okay, the footlocker. What, what is it with the footlocker? prepared for a troubled girl honey I'm pretty sure most of the children ended up here because they have a troubled past what the fuck are you thinking it says here she's sensitive what is that yes she's sensitive <laughs> I wonder why she's never found a home before. Oh wait, he said he he she started doing this with Fifteen and, and this is when she started hearing also the I'm thoughts. Sure she's a sweet girl, but she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This is the kid that's been in all those fights. Right? <laughs> I wanna help. I I really do oh. Fuck off! She's just something... <laughs> broken. Wrong. With her. What the hell?! <laughs> Did that actually happen? Sorry. Why? You need to see it. See what? That nobody picked me? Nobody picked you. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Mom died. Dad left. I bailed. <laughs> You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us- You were 11 years old. Thank you, that Gabe. Thank you. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Let it go. People leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. Make it better. Be angry at dad. Miss mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. And no one can take your life away. Fight. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. 
is something you don't even understand. You can change the world. Make it better. Now get up. What? Get up and fight. And, our... and get the fuck out of this mine. Oh, oh god, my heart hurts. <laughs> Bright? Or is it? Oh, okay, it was. I had a feeling it was ridiculously bright. How is the moonlight shining on us? Once again, I am so surprised we're still alive. And once again, I don't like. I really dislike the on this 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 until dawn wipe here. What are we looking for? Matches we pick. Uh, I I regularly remember we picked this up somewhere from Gabe's staff. This wallet, I'm not sure. And back then she was like, you never know when you need a map. Oh God, can we work? What what bones are broken? One lucky thing that none of our legs are apparently broken. I've got to find a way out of here. God, this is only a stone. For a second, it looked like a horrible doll. Okay. Oh no, it's broken! But I think I wanted to check my journal anyway. Because there was some stuff. I Yeah, I think ja Charlotte Anger was the last one we didn't read. Ethan Joy, I think. We get bright juice from. I think we have this one. Let's just say we have this one. Charlie Anger. Some anger placed this like odd flame stuck in a projector. It eats you up from the inside, melts away everything else until all you are is a brittle shell and a boiling mess of blame and guilt. Makes some art. Supposed to help, right? But it doesn't. It just fills your shell with reminders of what a shitty person you are. Don't know how I knew I could do it. It was like suddenly noticing extra limbs. So how invincible until the very moment I started to use it. I could reach inside, find Charlotte's anger, turn it down, turn it off. Teach me to need someone again. I can't look at you. Supposed to protect us. When did I become such a fucking monster? But I didn't. I could have, but I didn't. I didn't know what it would do to her. Who should be after I took the pain away. It felt like such a violation. Hadn't she earned the right to be angry? I was so sure that I was helping people. That whatever else I am, I could at least offer this one thing to those who need it. But Charlotte's heart is bigger than me. Stronger. I have to hope that I can do more good by walking away than I could by meddling. I'm carving, carving you out of a stone. Finally learned how to need someone. Crack your coffin. Penny for your thoughts on the fucking monster I've become. I still don't regret this decision. I, I really hope the game will not make me regret this decision. Ducky sadness. I think sometimes we make res I think sometimes we make reservoir space in our heads for particular people. The important ones anyway. They become part of us so permanent and imaginable that eventually you can't imagine what it would even mean to be who you are without them. And then one day they're gone. And all that's left is the space you cleared for them in your head. 
and you're not sure how to so much as breathe anymore. Maybe that's what it means to be haunted. Ducky doesn't know how to be Ducky without taps. Part of him feels like he spent the year since her death doing an impression, his best recollection of who he used to be when she was still there. I think when we danced he remembered a little of what that person was. I think you could see a little of what Tab saw in him. I carved that myself. Look at the bottom. You're going to outlast this whole damn town. Hoping I see you at the bottom when I finally drain the glass. I've outlasted this entire damn town. I want to see you dance again at last. Try and Jory! <clears throat> Sorry. He was afraid at first. I didn't even need to read him. One of my favorite things about Ryan is his utterly crap poker face. Kinder bonkers how you can be scared that you get what you hope for and scared that you want at the same time. Weird too how when your hopes come true they can still taste a little like fear. Just enough to make your heart pound in your chest and your brain feel like one of those electro balls they used to sell at them all. What kind of electric balls? I never been to such a mall. He told me I should stay in Haven and when I looked down onto Main Street for just a second I couldn't imagine anywhere else in the world I would want to be more. He made me feel like I could become a part of this place. Like I could be as much as part of Haven Springs as the mountains and the lake and the spring festival itself. Like I deserve that I... that Like I deserve that, maybe I do. My man used to get in Semenya when I was a kid. I'm not trying to get you to plan out your whole life. Kiss her, dummy. I'll meet you in the sleepless garden. Close my eyes and see. A future you remembering how it felt to kiss tonight's version of me. Alright, last one. Pike slash fear. There's the threat that keeps you awake at night. A uh, Vigilant and terrified. All vigilant and terrified. Then there's the one... You don't even know exists, so you sleep just fine. Guess which one is more likely to kill you? I thought I knew what Typhon was, but uh, Typhon was, but really, I had no idea. Pike knew, and it terrified him. The horror of the witness, the paralyzed audience, stepped in and made to watch the same inevitable choreography performed again and again and again. What have you seen, Pike? Before Gabe, before me, what secrets did you have to keep, and how long did you have to keep them? I thought of Charlotte, learning that could I swallow her anger and not being able to bring myself to do it, and I knew I couldn't do that Pike either, not without knowing what it might do to him. So I signed a fucking release. I don't want you to get hurt, keep your head down, Python doesn't lose, no isn't an option. Red girl, keep your head down, the cats will always win. Pen and shaking face cross your name off of their list. I can't go through this again. Also, I still don't regret this, um, but maybe I will. Oh, look, a broken ladder. <laughs> no more ladder. Not that I'd be much good at climbing. I tried to run. Um, she, she's not running. She's not walking faster. I'm, I'm surprised. And this is so creepy! <laughs> oh god, why is there a dead rat? Mines growing into mines, just like Jed said. How are we ever supposed to get the fuck out of here? I'm gonna choose not to read anything into this. I'm so scared. I could almost laugh if it wouldn't hurt so much. Safety first! How long has this stuff been down here? Oh, okay, guys, looking at a time. More walking deeper into the dark mine. Oh, what was over there? I thought I saw something creepy. In the next episode, then. For now, I really hope you enjoyed that one and you will be back for the next one. I will see you there.